Hi and welcome back. Aki here from Evolved Computers. What we do today is we continue our uh, PC build that we have done already now um, two videos. And uh, what we do today, we're not going to continue with the build itself, but we're going to take uh, our Gigabyte 3080 RTX GeForce OC model and install the Bixky water cooling block and some extras on it. If you want to see how we do it or how it goes and you want to do it yourself eventually, just uh, stay tuned and we will be back in a second. This is the 3080 OC that we're gonna start taking apart. So we need to remove the original cooling system from it. Just need to leave the PCB and uh, then install the water plug. So this is the GPU. This is the Bixbis water block with LEDs and everything. So it has all the cables on it. So this is the side that goes onto PCB with uh, all the thermal paste and everything. Put it aside. And this is the back plate that also uh, has the thermal functionalities. It's a metal, has all the um, bolts inside here, ready to go. It comes with a bunch of hardware and even thermal paste and a spatula. Uh, thermal paste, tiny screwdriver, um, long screws, short screws with uh, springs, couple water blocks and thermal paste. Thermal paste strips to be fair. We put it aside. Also it comes with power cables. We are not going to use these. We are going to use white ones. Uh, maybe in the beginning we need to use because one of the white ones is on back ordered uh, but uh, it should arrive pretty soon. Uh, and also what we purchased is uh, just for uh, to see how it works and everything. We purchased an uh, uh, extra part that has a display on it. So it shows the temperature of the coolant all the time. So I wanted to see how this looks. We're going to install this on the block and then we're going to install the block onto the Gigabyte. So let me get you guys a little bit closer. So you're not going to see me anymore as much, but you're going to see what I'm doing. So. Let's start removing the back plate first. So let's hopefully find all the screws that we need to remove. Tiny screws, be sure you not lose it if you wanna. Who knows, you know, like one day you might think, you know, like, oh, let me put it back on original and then like, ah, I don't have my screws anymore. Okay. We continue opening all the rest. Eventually it should give. Okay. No? Okay. It's a little sticky. Uh, now the plugs. Okay, got it. I don't know, somehow it was so sticky in here. Okay. Now the two others. Okay, got it. So, cooling off. Now we gotta see where's the see where the back plate holds the PCB again still. So I guess it's these two here. Okay, these are loose and probably these, right? No? Ah, I guess it's these two there. Yep, these two here. And then it should be fine. Just gotta clean it up and start installing everything backwards. But first, we're gonna do the um, extra things for the 
Ah, one more. Of course, there's always one more. Okay. Come on. Come off. Okay. Cut that off also. Now it should come off from here. Yep. And we can unplug it from here because we are not gonna use this to be honest so we can honestly this was nonsense that I opened this this can stay on I am just gonna unplug them here just this plate like this this is just a plate let us clean up the old thermal paste we don't need that in here cleaner it is the better for the next one for the fresh paste and everything card is here ready for uh, putting on the block but let's figure out the block first so so we got this block and this has the regular one in here right now but we want to put this one in here so it shows um, the screen and everything so let me grab the tool on here with three screws if you just buy the regular block and not the monitor then you don't have to do this part but if you want you know like to get the monitor and everything then you have to so let me remove these Okay, everything is loose. Screws, there are new screws coming, so I think we're gonna use new just in case. Maybe there is some size issue or something that I'm not familiar with, but let me put these aside. These we can put back in the box later. So now let's grab these screws, what came with this block. There's two small ones, two more. Okay, these are same length and one is low, shorter. Okay, good, good. So, see the gaskets are all there. Let me put it along one end. Align it up. Okay, start treading. And again, don't tighten one, tighten all of them all snug, so you see like there is no issues, and then tighten them, like, but don't go crazy with it, because it's it goes into plexiglass, or acrylic, or whatever it's made of, the casing, so if you overdo it, you probably will kill the threads inside, and you might have a leak. but to them snug and see like that you that it feels uh, good and if it does you're done with this part okay so this is done so what's next is there's a tiny little screen in here so uh, I think this is top side I hope at least so it seems like what the design is here is that this little uh, sensor goes inside this uh, bronze screw which is screwed inside of the uh, to the water line so it takes the temperature of the outgoing water line and now let's install the screen so ah where is this? There's a cable that we need to install it to. So the screen uses Molex cable. So we gotta install that uh, because 
it's gonna go inside the casing so I'm gonna push it up first install the screen on it so it like clicks in properly and then I'll install the sensor inside the screw let me give a little slack let me give a little slack to this too goes into sensor goes in pull from the cord so it makes it nice let's see that it's still in there it's still in there so the screen is in it has tiny 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 screws which now you need to pull the screen on on here into these grooves okay let me try yeah it's like I need to get my magnet this is tiny so we change it a little bit up so this magnetize everything and now I'll be able to screw these tiny little things in okay one again not all the way in Even with magnet, these little screws will not hold you sometimes, so be careful. Don't lose them. Or you gotta find them somewhere. Okay. Screen is on. Let's remove the protective film on the screen quickly. And then install the cover for the screen. So film off, so it's clear. And now, it I think these coming on the double-sided tape or something. Yeah, they do. Okay, so they're already glued. So be careful, don't put your fingers in there. Um, did I put it on wrong? No. No, I did not. Yeah, no, it's all fine. And then put it on. It has also protective film on it. You probably can get later, but just put it inside the groove. Do not push that much like I did just now. Okay, it came back out. Nice. Okay, cool. So, just a little protective screen. So, now it's this part. This part is done. So, now we're going to clean this up, the metal part, so we can put the PCB in here. So, now we gotta grab the board again and start figuring out first I want to see how it aligns up first so I know that then and then I don't have to worry about it so I think it goes this way right and this is the front this is the rear okay it goes right in there uh-huh okay cool let me put it other way let me put it this way on let's see so the lines up with this and this okay so see that's how it's gonna look when it's installed just wanna see quickly that everything lines up it should be good I just need to now uh, fill the not fill but put the paste so what we do now is we install the thermal paste so or thermal strips so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure them out use our trusty scissors cut them and just do one side at first let me put it on here and this is this is nice okay there was one that was a little broken so that one I'll put up here so like that okay so let me put this on here okay good uh, this one is cut in here so I guess I'll get back to you guys when all of these are installed I don't think there's a point for you to watch cutting you get the gist of it that you need to cut them on size and length and just put them on the metal plates here 
Now we need to put thermal paste in here. Let me clean this up again a little bit. Just clean, all nice. Uh, I'm gonna use my own thermal paste, MX4. Uh, not the one that came with it. Trust this a little bit more. Because I know it's been working for me. Okay. Let's take the spatula. Make it all nice and gooey. Make it equal. All good. Now let's put it upside down onto the thing. So yes, we should be fine in this way. Okay, all the bolt holes line up, which is great. Let me see how it looks on this side. Everything touches, friends. So all of these inside here is not uh, gonna be threaded with those so I think what I need to do is put these with the small screws that is also included let's put the back plate on and we should be done with this card so snug check just my case one more time that everything is in great shape and there is no issues everything is touching this is how it looks um, so we installed the Bixky uh, water block GPU water block on a gigabyte RTX 3080 OC uh, this is how it looks this is the little upgraded version of it, it comes with the screen uh, how all of this works inside the computer um, if you want to see it uh, follow our build uh, and follow our channel uh, send leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you want uh, because we're gonna keep doing these videos and if you want to see them we're happy to have you this is how it looks looks great uh, I think it will look even greater when the water is inside uh, don't know yet how it will look inside the build because uh, yes we have a horizontal riser cable but it's a there is no riser cable for a 4.0 uh, system which is the new one now um, and the 3.0 cables on a 4.0 system with the newer cards uh, making all kinds of issues all the time so I think sadly we will still mount it horizontally so you will not see that water effect and everything as much but you will see the screen and everything really well so if you want to see how it's gonna look in the build and everything like I said subscribe and uh, if you want to ring the bell do too, then you're going to be up on task all the time how it, when, when we're posting new videos. And um, I think that's it for now. Um, see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.